Yes, welcome back to the breakfast show and on to our last segment and our last guest mm -hmm. for today. We have a, a group of young kids here. Absolutely. Well, they're not right. so young, they're young enough. Oh, young enough? <laughs> well, especially well, out of your league, that's I for know. sure. I but know. be ready for some what? magic. What? Yes. Be ready for some talk mystery. Be ready for some action. We talk An about adventure. A musical <laughs> yes, that's uh, right. by Lynn Athens and mm -hmm. Stephen Flattery based on the book of Dr. Zeus that debuted in Broadway back in 2000 and mm -hmm. it has since become quite a popular. A, uh, a transition. production, yeah, production exactly. I schools. mean, it's now staged in schools, communities, regional theatres, um, uh, bringing Dr. Seuss's characters to life. And it's called Seuss Girl the Musical. Uh, of course, uh, that was Broadway back in 2000. Mm. But since 11 years later, it is here in Malaysia, brought to you by Chumpaka Schools. So we'll find out a little bit more about this. Let's speak to, first of all, Mr. Raphael, director of Chumpaka Schools, and two of the cast members yes. right here as well. We have uh, uh, Natasha Lama, who plays the cat in the hat. You are yep. the cat in the hat. You're the cat in the hat. Right. And of Where's course your hat? The... <laughs> she forgot it this morning. Uh, yeah. And there's Ariana Sheikh Rizal, yes. who plays Jojo as well. Yeah. So it's a very big task upon you. Yes. Yeah. How's it feel like so far? Uh, it's very fun, mm -hmm. but tiring at the same time since I'm very young. Mm -hmm. But it's a good opportunity and a very good experience. Very good. Now, how old are you? I'm turning 11 this July. You're turning 11? Yeah. You have, you have fooled me for 21. That's for sure. <laughs> How about yourself, Natasha? Um, I'm turning... I turned 13 in February. Turned okay. 13. And as Anson said, where is your hat? Yeah, where That's is your hat? <laughs> I think... I left it in the story. You left ah. it. Came out, come here for a while. Took it into real life as well. So, Raphael, yeah. how did you find these talented people among all the talented people in Chapaka schools? Wow, <laughs> it was it was a difficult task trying to pick um, the right girls for the task. But mm. like, in the end of the day, we looked at the story. Then we looked at um, what was suitable for the cast. And, right. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. just look at them, they already look like the roles that they have to play already. That's true, I mean, they have the spunk, uh, the gregariousness. Yeah. And uh, we, I, I was discussing with Hanson as well, um, Chapaka schools uh, uh, are known for bringing international productions uh, down here. Of course, mm. they brought West End uh, uh, Story, oh, sorry, West Side Story. Yeah, West um, Story. And uh, they brought in... Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yes. And uh, is this a trend that's going to continue? Or what's, what's the take? Right, well, um, in Chapaka schools, um, performing arts is very important to us. Mm -hmm. So. So, um, like you said, we've brought in West Side Story, brought in Fame, mm -hmm. uh, we've brought in Wicked, We Will Rock You. Um, um, so, every year, that's a big uh, hit from Broadway mm -hmm. that we bring in. Mm -hmm. um, we like to teach the children not just to be on stage, but also to do theatre production. Mm -hmm. So, right. real life yeah. skills, yeah? Real life skills. I mean, yeah. they learn things like being a stagehand, mm -hmm. directing, making music, yeah. and that sort of thing. So, right. it's a full be um, it's a full size orchestra as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, kids from the age of seven all the way up to 17. And is everyone uh, a part of the production, all students of uh, Chumbaka? Yes, mostly all would be students of Chumbaka as well, from mm. the orchestra to people behind stage to people on stage. Wow. Okay, so it's really hands-on experience. That's truly hands a democracy, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and how, how, where do they get the training from? Do we have any expertise, especially from those with uh, the from theatre companies, or is it all from yourself, Rafa? Oh, I wish I could, I wish I could say that. <laughs> exactly. um, no, we've got a huge team um, at Chimpaka Schools yeah. um, mm -hmm. doing all sorts of things from um, teaching them how to speak on stage mm -hmm. to um, playing the instruments. And uh, it's, it's just a whole family atmosphere in school that we have so right. it's, it's more fun than work actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Do you guys agree it's more fun than work? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we look forward to going to practices more than we do to going to school. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember being books. Yeah. Oh, come on. Right. You guys get to skip class? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, wait, which yeah. brings up a valid question and all these activities are, yeah. are after school hours, mm -hmm. right? Or um, is it part of the curriculum? Well, the, the activities are actually part of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, they also come on Saturdays and all that as well. Mm -hmm. um, however, obviously, closer to the show, mm -hmm. it takes some of the school time as okay. well. But mm -hmm. um, that's the good thing about them already having a very strong academic foundation in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just another thing that they get to So do. when you... Okay, because right. so, okay. we talked a little bit earlier on that you actually had a whole casting process. And yeah. you actually auditioned people mm -hmm. before they can actually, you know, get the roles. Mm -hmm. sure. So if they... Let's say you've selected them and if you see their academics suffer, mm -hmm. do you, would you all make any adjustments to oh, that? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, um, one of the one of the selection process is actually going through their records mm. and see okay mm -hmm. how they're performing in class. Can they that. can they cope with the uh, can the they extra cope pressure? with the extra pressure? Um, mm. Most of the time they they're able to, but mm -hmm. if um, 
so far so good. Mm -hmm. um, the grade you, starts to suffer. Yeah, then mm -hmm. obviously extra class. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so That's no don't, fun. don't skip class, don't skip class, guys. But how are you guys coping? Yeah. You know, I mean, you've got these extra practices, and then the show's coming up very soon as well, July 15th, yeah? yeah? Mm. So are you guys nervous, and are you, are you guys forgetting yeah. your lessons, you know? Um, tell us, tell us, share with us. It's not really hard, because um, um, in Chumbaku, we have our word, virtual learning environment, the VLA. Okay. So um, with that, the teachers post the homework and the classwork. Mm -hmm. So from um, it's exactly what they do, and then they post it. If there's any presentations, they post it. So mm -hmm. it's easy for us to refer to the books, and then it's, mm -hmm. um, it's not that hard to catch up. And if you need help, you can always call your friends, you can meet up, and then they can help you. Oh, yeah. excellent. And how about yourself? Yeah. Right? Do you have your friends help you out? Uh, yeah, and like I have tuition teachers come oh, to like, okay. like especially like new topics that I don't learn and there's homework. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They come to the house. Oh, and right. also like Natasha said, the VLE mm -hmm. is really good. Mm -hmm. So okay. of course you can get your stuff online as well. Mm -hmm. Some of the uh, innovations um, implemented by Chimpak schools, yeah? That's right. Um, in fact, um, Natasha is actually from our ladies' college mm -hmm. in Sepang, so she's a residential student as well. Ah, I okay. see. And I know we join as well. So they've got all that time when they come back and they're housemates mm. and all that, so it's a lot I easier see. for them. So it's in a boarding school environment. It's kind of like a boarding school environment. One of our schools nice. is, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So you, you, you expanded the search throughout all, what, six, six seven, Chupac seven Chupac schools that you have? Uh, well, we've got um, Chupak International School, we've got mm. Chupak International Ladies College, Mm -hmm. Damansara School, we've got a national school in Charas as well. Charas, and then there's yeah. one in Labuan as well. Yeah, we have a national mm. school in Labuan as well. Wow, so, so quite, quite extensive as well. And then and, and, uh, with this professional production, yeah? So you're playing the cat in the hat, yeah? So how's, how's, you, how, how's the role so far? I think when I first got the role, I was a bit shocked because mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of pressure and it's my first year. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. Um, I had to do my research on the character itself. and. Sure. Um, Mike um, Myers played it, and mm -hmm, yeah. when we had acting sessions with um, our director, Mr. Scott, mm -hmm. um, he helped us a lot. Um, mm -hmm. We had to bring our own feel to it, and he added um, more things and more quirks for mm -hmm. our characters. All right. Yeah. So, so, how about the role of Jojo? Yeah. Did you have to do a lot of research as well? Yeah, but yeah, but I think Jojo is like me myself, very mischievous okay. at the same okay. time. So I could. Relate. Yeah. yeah. To a character. So have, have you read of the, all of Dr. Seuss's books? Yes, I, I'm a very big fan since okay. I was small. All right. So which is your favorite character? Yeah. Mm, my favorite character has to be actually really the cat. The cat. Oh, really? Not the bridge. The bridge. Because it was my first book of Dr. Oh, Seuss. Oh, I, I see. I see. I see. So a particular affinity as well. Yeah. All right. So um, let, let's talk more about the production as well. Um, for those uh, of it's open to the public. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, all, all proceeds will go to Champaka Schools. Um, all proceeds go to a charity that we put up. Excellent, okay. excellent. So all proceeds go to charity. So of course, uh, enjoy yourself with your friends and family, and of course, contribute to a good cause. Um, performances are happening June. Uh, uh, sorry, is it June? July. Or July? July. 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 My apologies. Mm. July fifteenth. Yeah? yeah. So it's really, really close. Fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth. So you've got a week. Uh, a break there as well. Yeah. Um, it's going to be at uh, North Hall in Chapaka Chiras. Mm -hmm. And here are the numbers you can call to get your tickets. You can call 032093-1740 uh, or mm -hmm. uh, 039076-8400. There you go. We've locations. got the numbers on the screen right mm -hmm. now. That's the Chapaka Chiras uh, School. That's the best place to call because uh, it's going to be held there. Yeah. Uh, 0976. Uh, um, and once again, Chupaka Damasara, that's the number for you. Um, don't flip it so fast, guys. We can't beat them. <laughs> and here's the best part. Um, it's entry by donation of 55 ringgit, 70 ringgit, 85 ringgit, and 90 ringgit. Mm. So at 90 ringgit, I can stand, I, I'll sit right in front closer. of the yeah. 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 Seats are closer. Yeah, yeah because yeah. the cat has a lot of interaction with the audience. Oh, okay. oh yeah. excellent. So, so you get to yeah. speak to the audience as well? Yeah. Okay, don't get freaked out if a cat, cat starts <laughs> speaking to you in the hall, yeah? <laughs> so <laughs> this will be very challenging because you have to interact with the yeah, crowd as well. Interact with them. Ooh, Excellent. Yeah. Free, yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> so um, maybe last few words, maybe to your friends yeah, out there. Yeah, say hi to your friends. Yeah. on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you like to say to people out there who, who, who love Dr. Seuss? You know? Come watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's really <laughs> good. <laughs> it's not just an approach to children, but also adults. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it's, it's going to be really interesting. Nicely done. That's nice. Something for you? Um, I'd like to say it's good if you come and watch because it's a very good experience. Most people would think it's a children's book because mm -hmm. it is Dr. Seuss, but mm -hmm. I think we've translated it for, mm -hmm. for um, so it's suitable for all ages and it's a lot of fun. 
to mm -hmm. watch. I think everybody will enjoy the storyline. Very mm. good. Well, Rafael, as the director, yeah. you must be very proud of your kids. I'm always very proud of them. <laughs> very cool. Congratulations. What a Thank great you so job much. you've done. Yeah. Thank you so very, much. Very, very cool. All right, so once again, for viewers out there, Hanson and I are going to be, uh, you know, trying to get some yeah. tickets, score some tickets. You know, you, you got to win. Score, we got to donate, man. No, no, but, but, score any tickets. No, no, but at the same time, you know, you got to win with, this, with, this, with these hot chicks, these young chicks. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, you can, you can just go and, like, please, can we just I think you need to, you need to, you need to ask them their age. <laughs> I think you just you just fluffed around know, some very dangerous I territory. I, I, I'm fluffing around there. You go. I just put some dangerous, dangerous territory. <laughs>